Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to an upcoming webinar called Risk a Little, Earn a Lot. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. And I'm going to be talking in this webinar about how you can take good quality risk to reward trades. If you would like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can feel free to go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Skype, Pinterest, or any one of these places and like me there. The thing is, when you're trading, when you're day trading, when you're swing trading, when you're core trading, any type of trading you're doing, you want to be able to have a good risk to reward. It really doesn't even matter if you're taking an overnight or a day trade. Every time you risk your own money in the market, you want to have a position, which is a good price position that you can get the right payout. So I'm going to be discussing this in the lecture. The lecture is February 11th at 5.30 Eastern Time. It is free. All you have to do is go to this link right here and sign up and register for free. Do you want to find a way to make bigger profits in your trading without risking more money? If the answer is yes, then come to this exciting class because you will learn a lot in this class about how to take proper risk to reward trades and actually what is a good risk to reward trade. A lot of people don't even know. Uh, a lot of people have incorrect or false expectations of what a proper risk to reward trade even is or that it isn't even possible. But the fact is it is possible. It is possible to take quality risk to reward trades, but many, many people don't know where to enter a trade or put a stop. And we will be discussing stops too. The right risk to reward trades really equals results. Because if you take a different risk in every trade that you take, how are you gonna end up with equal results? Like you could take one trade that doesn't work and then one trade that does work. And if the one that does work, you didn't take the same size in, you took less size in, for example, and the one that works, it's going to reflect in your results. You have to take the same or equal to the same in every trade you take. Learn how to take successful risk to reward trades. You can take a small amount of money and make big profits trading. And you can turn a small trading account into a big one with the right entry, exit, and a tiny stop. And I don't take tiny stops for the purpose of just taking a tiny stop to take big size, although I do love to take big size in my trains. I use stops where they need to be, meaning if the stock goes above or below a certain level, support or resistance, then I want to be out of the trade, meaning it's doing something wrong and therefore it's not going to work right and I want to be out of the trade. But you need to know where those proper levels are and it's based on the price action. Being a profitable trader has everything to do with taking the proper risk to reward setups, which you need to do if you want to be successful trading, because it's going to be very challenging to be consistently profitable if you're all over the place with your risk and if you don't use stops, because if you don't have a stop in, then really your risk is unlimited and it's going to be very challenging for you to make money. And people say, well, I use a paper stop. A paper stop for a day trade doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get out of the right place because stocks can move against you very quickly. So a paper stop means nothing. It's not a stop at all. I'm talking about a stop order where you put in a limit order where it's actually going to hit through the trade and take you out and you would lose a certain amount if it stops out. And if the trade goes on to work and goes to the target, then you know you're going to make this much based on the dollar per risk amount. And this is where we're going to talk about something called an R unit, uh, which is the amount you're risking which is one R we're going to discuss in the lecture. This class focuses on precision and detail in entries using advanced technical analysis skills, which is how I trade, for proper trade execution. Be deliberate in your trade choices and take calculated risk with a high reward and low risk payout. Learn how it is possible to take a little bit of the money and turn it into a lot. Some people don't have a lot of money to trade with. You can take a small account and turn it into something big if you're taking good risk reward trades. And again, it's about the quality. Every single thing is about the quality. Quality, 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 quality. I just don't take trades that I don't have 100% conviction in and feel low quality. And you need to know the difference between what that looks like and what it doesn't look like. A lot of people are just throwing darts at a board in the market. That doesn't result in profitable trades or a profitable account. But if you are very particular with what you do, you can make good money in the market, even with a small risk. By I'm just saying a small risk meaning $50 or even an intermediate risk like $150. If you want to get conviction in how to risk a little and earn a lot, the seminar is for you. So sign up and come. 
Is there enough profit potential in the trades you take? Think about this if you're trading now. And if you don't know what that even means, then again, it's a great reason to come to the lecture. It's not about risking one dollar to make a dollar or a penny to make a penny. It's about risking one dollar to make three as your target. And then you watch the trade to see if it goes to the target or past the target. You're always looking for at least three in every trade you take. Do you wish you could make more by risking less? Obviously, if you risk a lot of money, you can make a lot of money. But the idea is, if even if you had a lot of money, do you want to risk a lot? You want to have calculated risk in your trades, meaning that you want to maximize your potential. If you are maximizing your potential, you are looking to make the absolute most money you can risking a certain amount, which should be reasonable based on the size of your account, but not so much that you feel like you're not taking calculated risk, that you're feeling nervous about the trade. Otherwise, you won't be able to hold through the trade to the target and make the real money that you could make in the trade, which you want to see the trade through. You want to see the trade play out. You don't want to be nervous in the trade. So spend your time and money wisely on good risk to reward trades because it matters. It allows you to be more confident, have conviction, hold through, get the bigger moves in the trades, and get the momentum. The bigger move doesn't mean being in it for you know hours and hours. It still means being into it in the time of the day when the trade's set up, but you're holding it maybe just a couple minutes longer to get what I call the push, and the push down if you're in a short or the push up. Now let's look here at Microsoft. Microsoft had this nice gap here. It was back at the end of January, and then a follow-through continuation down in here after the gap. This was a golden gap, and you could have played through Microsoft, this is a one-minute chart, on a secondary setup on a continuation. You could have shortened Microsoft here, stop over here, and again, this is the proper trade entry. It is a good stop, and it also went to the target. So the price of the entry is 42.41. Stop is over 42.55. It's 14 cents. It's a good risk amount on a stock at this price point. If you are an intermediate risk trader, you would take a thousand shares and risk $140. Exits 42. Total profits 410 bucks. This is a nice trade. If you made $400 a day, that's $2,000 a week. That's $8,000 a month. That's a nice, nice amount of money to be making trading the stock market, and especially if you look at that on, on an entire annual basis. Risk to reward is 2.92 times the amount risk was made in profit. That's a good trade. And this turns $140 into $410. That's a great risk to reward trade. And again, this is a small stop, but it had good risk to reward, almost the three. This is your goal every day. You didn't even risk a crazy amount of money. You only risked $140, and you could have made $410. This is a quality, quality trade. What is it based on? How do you find these trades? This here, the golden gap. And we're going to talk about this in the webinar as well. This is the strategy that I designed and that strategy I trade. We will be discussing stops in the webinar. People always have questions about this. I never trade without stops. Again, it helps to find your risk. It helps to limit your losses too. And it allows you to feel confident in taking size in your trades. So learn how to take good risk to reward trades. Why? Because it's going to help you become a more profitable trader. If everything you do is a scalp or you're only making one to one or one and making a half on every one, it's going to be very challenging for you to pay your bills or do this as a career. Now, not everybody wants to trade for a career. It's something, though, that a lot of people that come to me want to do. It's something that I'm doing, and I've been doing it for years, and I always say, you know what? You've got to get your most bang for your buck. You have to take your money and work that money and use it for the maximum amount that you can to turn it into something. So I'm always honing down to look for the quality. And it's about consistently finding the proper risk to reward setups and trades. And I'm very good at seeing them, specifically in a one-minute chart. And this is what helps you. When you have a trade that doesn't work out, then you don't have a conniption about it because you have other trades that work out well. And even if you take two losses or three losses in a month's time, if you have other quality trades, that you're making three, four, five R's in, they pay for the ones that don't work, and you're still at money. And that's how you become a successful trader. And you have to accept the fact that every uh, trade that you take has the potential that it may go to the dream target, go to the target, or it could fail. That's where putting the stops in protects you. Stops are a protective measure to protect you. 
so that you don't take one trade that doesn't work and it eats up two or three great trades that you take on the week. And every week you should have a couple really, really nice trades. And so this allows you, by using the stop measures, to be able to control yourself, have the discipline, and money manage yourself. You need a system that has a great risk to reward. And the class that I teach teaches a good risk to reward. The system that I use is a, is a good risk to reward system because it focuses on quality and using hard stops and a specific stop entry and placement. The class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a professional bearish gap system. Dates of the class are February 21st and 22nd from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Cost of the class is $29.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Your path to success, remember, is the Golden Gap Course because I teach you how to focus on quality, one specific strategy that you can use to make money in the market, setups that have a defined risk amount, and you will know where you're putting the stop so you know exactly how to trade and what to do. Remember, earnings season is now. It's now. It's all the month of February and March. So it is a good time to be involved in learning how to day trade or swing trade because the market has a lot of momentum and volatility that happens when stocks have earnings. So I will see you at the free lecture. Go sign up, 5.30 Eastern Time, February 11th. Have a great weekend, everyone. And if you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.